Hi everyone and this is going to be a very simple guide on how we can install AMD's FSR 4.0.2 with frame generation on any GPU, either Intel, Nvidia or AMD and gain massive FPS boost with better image quality using a free open source mode called OptiScaler. In case you don't know that OptiScaler is a free and open source mode that helps you to enable frame generation, DLSS or FSR in non-supported games. But there are just two basic requirements in order to use this mode in your game is that the game you are trying this in should be running on DX12, DirectX12 API as FSR4 only supports DirectX12 at this moment and the game you are trying this in should have any one kind of upscaler in the graphics settings already like any one either DLSS, FSR or XCSS and if these two requirements are met you can easily use this mode and gain the benefits from it and yeah that's all and also FSR4 is not officially available yet for these older GPUs but we can still use this using this mode and leaked files so without wasting any further time let's jump into it. So first of all we have to download the mode. I will leave direct ad free download link down below in the description box of this video. So you can just simply go there, click on the link and directly download the mode ad free. So just simply click on, click on the link and click on the top icon of download and the zip file fsr4.rr will be downloaded. Next after installing that fsr4.zip file it will be like this. So you need any application like winrar or 7zip in order to extract this. So just simply right click and click extract here and after extracting here this will be all of the things so these are the main mode files we need and now just simply copy each and every file we got after extracting the mode click copy and now simply open the main file location of your game wherever your game is installed so simply open that so now inside the main folder of the game so if you don't know that what is the main game folder so basically you have to paste the files wherever the main exe of the game is located like here you can see rdr.exe and in some games the main exe is located somewhere like binary is win64 and sometimes the launcher is outside the main folder so make sure you paste in the right place where the main game exe is located not where the launcher is located so basically that's the main folder and here is where we have to paste the file so it's just simply copy and replace the file in the destination so now the mode has been pasted and just simply scroll down and look for the file named setup windows this is the main bat file click here and now this is the main menu where we have to install the mode so first of all there are many options but simply select first dxgir.dll this is default and works the best most of the times and that's the most preferable way so just simply click on first and click enter and now it will ask for a very important thing are you using an nvidia gpu or an amd intel gpu so make sure if you have an nvidia gpu press 2 and hit enter and if you don't have nvidia gpu either intel or amd press 1 make sure to correct the choose the correct option otherwise the mode is not going to work so press 2 i have nvidia click enter and now that's all optiscaler setup completed successfully press any key to continue so now that's all our mode has been installed so now we have to activate the fsr4 in frame generation inside the game so launch the game so now inside the game after installing the mode simply go in the graphic settings of that game and look for the upscaler rated settings and you will find either nvidia's dlss or amd's fsr and now you have to enable either one of them you can either choose dlss or fsr and both are going to work fine but make sure to select either one of them and put them on quality mode and this is necessary before we can enable the fsr4 in frame generation so here i will select nvidia's dlss and it's on quality so that's all now back from here and now we have to enable the frame generation in FSR4. So press the insert key on your keyboard or Fn plus insert. And this will basically bring the main mode overlay where we can basically enable the FSR4. So here after pressing the Fn plus insert, this is the main mode overlay. So basically on the top, you will see the DLSS. First click here and select the FSR3.x and then click on change upscaler. And this will basically enable the FSR4. As you can see in the FFX settings, it's showing FSR 0.2. It means FSR4 is now working. Now go below here and you will see the frame generation section where we have to enable the frame generation. So simply click here and now you have to choose the OptiFG, OptiFG upscaler. Simply select this and on, on the right side of this, now here choose the frame generation option and now basically select XCFG 
as XCFG works better than AMD's FSR and I recommend choosing XCFG. So make sure to select XCFG here and now just simply select it and that's all. And now you have to restart the game in order to apply these changes. So simply down below you will see the save INI option. Just click there and now restart the game in order to apply these changes. So now inside the game once again after applying those changes press the insert key on your keyboard and now you will see we got many other options inside the frame generation section and now simply click on active and this is going to enable the frame generation and as you can see on the left our FPS just got doubled because the frame gen is now working. Also down below here make sure to enable this HDD fix because it's going to fix those random and weird glitches you will see on the screen. So make sure it's enabled to avoid those and now simply click on save INI below so you don't have to do these settings again and again and it will be saved forever. And also now you can press the insert key and this overlay will be gone. And the basic reason behind choosing the Intel's XCFG over FSR FG is that XCFG is newer, it produces a way better image quality, way stable than FSR and also regarding the latency, it's much more smoother than AMD's FSR. So select Intel's XCFG first, but in some cases, in some games, Intel's frame generation don't work properly with this mode. So in that case, stick with AMD's FSR FG, you can easily select the and change the settings from there in the mode overlay. So that's all. And now I'm going to show you that how you can uninstall this mode from the game and how you can avoid some of those random errors you may encounter while installing this mode. So now if you want to uninstall the mode from your game, simply open that main folder of your game once again where you previously installed the mode and you will see this file called remove optiscaler.bat. Simply open this and then it will ask do you want to remove the optiscaler. Simply click Y and hit enter and now it will say optiscaler removed and that's all. The optiscaler files have been removed completely from your game. And by this, you can easily remove the mode in case you encounter any error or anything like that. And also to avoid some general errors, always keep your GPU drivers up to date and your Windows too, because the mode works the best with the latest drivers and Windows update. So make sure it's up to date to avoid any unnecessary errors. And also make sure that this is just a mode and it's currently in beta. So expect some common problems or some uh, random glitches in some scenarios and in some games. But overall this mode do works very stable and works almost perfectly every time but there can be some errors in some scenarios so it's not perfect but it works the best as of now. And also avoid using any application that uses overlay like MSI Afterburner River Tuner or Discord overlay any application that uses overlay can cause can make the game crash with this mode so make sure to avoid those applications even though now it's way more stable than before and yeah that's all. And I hope this was helpful. I tried to make the video as simple and short as possible. So yeah, that's all my opinion. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching and bye.